tell you what, everyone's excited about your cheesecake this morning. I know, and Mel, it is a big one. Look there at that, it's going to be oh, huge. She's heavy. She's We're making heavy. a real New York baked cheesecake. So it's baked because it's a New York one. Okay, I was just going to ask you, so what makes it a New York cheesecake? Ba we're bake baking them. it, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're baking it. So cream cheese, yeah. sour cream in there. We've got a little bit of lemon, vanilla, touch of um, golden caster sugar, and a nice uh, digestive biscuit base. Nice work. Okay, well, I'm very excited to get this made. I'm very excited to eat it as well. We'll get cracking on this <laughs> cheesecake very soon. <laughs> It is great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen. We're very excited. Everyone's excited. We are making cheesecake, but no ordinary cheesecake. This is a New York style cheesecake. And can I just say, well done, Jazz, for that incredible artwork. Put it through a shredder and call it a Banksy. It's that good. Okay, <laughs> right, here we go. Let's get cracking. Right, what do we need so to do we, first? Need, we need to make our base first. So yeah. get a little bit of uh, butter. So pop that in. We're mm -hmm. just going to melt that. Nice. Right, digestive biscuits. Yep. Uh, so yeah, classic base for chocolate cheesecake. Um, always get the uh, get the big bitties one. The English ones are the best ones. Okay. Oh, English that's, ones are the that's, best ones. That's, uh, <laughs> that's a top tip oh, for here you. We there. Go. Right, you need to crush those. Okay, cool. Jeez, uh, gentle though, gentle. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want glass in your <laughs> no, cheesecake. No, no, no. Don't break the whole thing. Right, so we're just going to melt a bit of butter here. A <laughs> little. <laughs> a little. Oh, it's, it's, it's a recipe. It's an American it's, recipe. Yeah, that's a little right. bit of sugar in there. So just put it in the butter as it melts. It'll help dissolve it. And then once that's nicely uniformly crushed, we'll pour the butter in there, mix it around, and then we're going to pack it into our base. But what we need to do is to line a base. Okay, so this is what, what you should do first when you're making this ch cheesecake. Right, Let's watch get this. this done. Okay, cool. Square bit of grease proof. Yeah. Pop it on there, get one of those loose bottom tins, pop it on, clip it, voila, look at that, perfect, oh. without even oh, cutting. There you go, you got a round of applause oh. for that oh. even. Look at this that. one person was impressed. <laughs> we were all and just then... shocked with your amazement. <laughs> okay. Is this crushed enough or do you want them more No, fine? no, keep going. Okay. <laughs> I don't see why you gave me this <laughs> yeah. job. Keep me quiet. <laughs> <laughs> right, do you not so have a blender just... around here or something? No, you don't need a blender. All oh, right, we're going to take the mic. easy way out. You can use a blender. Okay. <laughs> but if you've got a mic in your kitchen, just make him do it. Exactly. Okay. Right, a little bit more. Get those big chunks out. You can leave a you can leave a few chunks in there. Okay. Right, butter's melted. Just make sure that um, sugar's in. Okay, good. I think we're just about there. Right, look at that. Right, I'll give you a swap. You. You happy? Right, you have the fork. Yep. And then you can. And we're going to pour this in. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you know, just mix it all together. Yep. Make sure it's all, um, you know, all uniformly mixed. Oh, yeah. And then what we're going to do is um, pop it onto our base. Okay. And how long will it take to set? So if you're planning to make well, a cheesecake, well, we're going to bake need? it. So what you need to do is oh, okay. pack, it, pack, it, uh, pack it onto your base. Yeah. Uh, make sure it's all covered, nice and even. Uh, and then we're going to pop it in an oven about 180 degrees for about eight to ten minutes. You know, you just want to set it. Just toast that biscuit lightly. Okay, great. Oh yeah, that smells good, and it's just butter and digestive biscuits. <laughs> yeah, so it was a good idea to make double the amount at this stage because you always end up eating half. Oh yeah. Okay, so compact it down. Yeah, so just compact it down. You can see you've got the you've got the butter and sugar in there, you know, and that's just help helping sort of compress it. You know, I oh god, it's come off. <laughs> oh no, not oh, oh no, look, now you're losing your crumbs. <laughs> see, this is why we never do bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. You've cleaned it No, no, it it's, it, it's all good. And, you know, it, if you get it a little bit finer, it, is, it will make it easier. <laughs> I think a little bit of a dig then. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all good. It's all going to taste the same. So just keep going around. Get it nice and, uh, get it nice and even. And then, as we said before, uh, pop it in another oven, 180 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. Let it come out, let it cool down, and then you can make the base. OK, great. Well, this is nice and easy, isn't it? Well, for Can some of us, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll let you finish off my mistakes there. We are here in the Beko kitchen. We are making a New York cheesecake. And Mark, you've got the uh, base sorted here. Yeah, so the base is all sorted. Now, for those that are very, <laughs> very clever, you would have noticed that Mark had to turn this upside down and get the ring in the right place because <laughs> that's why I wouldn't stay at the bottom. But just in case you noticed at home, mm. I've dobbed them and I've thrown you under the bus. Yeah, I thought, I thought we were going to talk about that. No, I've well, got a bit of time. Right, that's all right. You can make the, uh, the filling. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> right, so cream cheese. Yes. Um, so a little tip for you as well, because we're going to mix it all up. So if you take it out of the fridge about 10, 20 minutes before, it makes it a lot easier. This has just come straight out of the freezer, so it's going to be really hard for me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> right, a little bit of sugar as well, and just we'll just get those uh, mixing together. OK. Um, you know, you, you can make this on a, a mixer. 
It's yeah. probably really good to make it on a mixer, but um, today it's yeah. it's nice to make it by hand. Yeah. If you've got a mic. Okay. So you make sure you stop me when this is right, otherwise I'll make more butter for you. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's all right. You can give it a good whisk. Okay, um, cool. you know, there's no danger of um, you know, messing it up. <laughs> okay, well, I've never seen it before, but it's always <laughs> well, a first. Well, <laughs> with me, there's always a first. So you just want to make sure that sugar dissolves into the uh, the cream. It's all nice and uniformly um, uh, softness. Yep. It's got a nice softness there. Right. You just keep going with that. I've just got a lemon here as well, so it gives us a nice little, um, you know, citrusy flavour to the cheesecake. Just a little bit. Just going to do a nice little bit of zest, and we'll put some juice in as well. Nice. Have you ever been to New York? Yeah, and, uh, I love New York. And uh, when you go there, if I was heading there on holiday soon, what would be Mark's restaurant tips? Oh, um, you've definitely, um, you definitely got to go to uh, Katz's Deli. Okay, that's you really go. cool. Write that one down. So that's where they filmed uh, Harry Met Sally. Oh, okay. And you get these massive like pastrami sandwiches, uh, like oh, really, nice. really good, like real classic New York deli. Oh, nice. Um, and then if you want a, a swanky restaurant, uh, you've got Per Se, which is. Oh, nice. Banging. Yeah, there'll be some great food in New York. Very there? good. There's some Very great good street food. food in New York as well, I would imagine. Oh, brilliant. You know, like the hot dogs, the, you know, go mm. to a Yankees game as well. I mean, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a really, it's a really cool city, actually. Okay, so we've put some lemon zest in and yep. you squeeze some juice in as well. Yeah, a little bit of juice, a yep. little bit of lemon zest. Um, some vanilla extract that goes in now. You could put a vanilla pot in if you wanted. Okay. Well, it's smelling good. There you go. Right, and then a little bit of flour. So there's a spoon of flour in there. So just sprinkle that in, whisk all that in. Oh, I can see why you got me doing this. This is, this is time consuming. You know, interesting that you put flour. Okay. Interesting <laughs> that you put flour in. Why, why the flour? Oh, it's just gonna it's just gonna help um, you know, bind everything together, ah, okay. you know, once we bake it. I'm gonna get a little bit of sour cream in there as well. <sighs> that goes in there. Are we done We're not yet? finished yet. Okay. No. This is like going to jets. <laughs> okay. Smelling good. Well, this is why you do it by hand, you know, so you've right. done so a workout, right. you, you burn all those calories, it. and then you can eat half the yeah. cheesecake. Nice. Hear that, Mel? That's half. <laughs> half, because I made it. <laughs> and then we've got an egg in, the, in there as well, so when we bake it, that's going to help set it. Okay, cool. Righty-o. Do you right, have so that goes in. with your yeah, mixing? No, so keep going. Keep Make going. sure that's nice and smooth. Everything's all mixed in. You know, even get a little bit of air in there as well. That's why you use a machine. <laughs> You know, gets that air in there oh and makes it a little bit better. <laughs> just, just make sure you're filming all of this, okay? Otherwise, it's going to look very dodgy. Okay. Right. Yeah, beautiful. So you can oh. see, you can see oh, Have a sit down, Mike. Oh, no, I need to sit down. Right, and then uh, once you get it to that stage, you know, your biscuit base is baked. Just going to pour it in the mould, you know, because it's nice and soft and, and, you know, it's thick, but it's still runny. Does it know. get any bigger? Does it rise? Uh, it will rise maybe, you know, very, very slightly just because okay. of the eggs. Right. But the eggs are more going to set it. But what you can do now is obviously make sure your uh, uh, ring's clipped in. Um, otherwise, <laughs> that's pretty lucky actually because this would have been a right disaster <laughs> there. And then you can just gently, you know, just sort of make sure it goes to the end, give it a little tap on the side, and then that's going to go in an oven. Perfect. Uh, you want to start off about 200, 210 degrees, so really hot for about 10 minutes. Yes. But then you've got to turn it down. You want to turn it down to about 110 degrees and keep cooking it for about sort of 45 minutes. Um, so it's just set. You'll have a nice little wobble on the top, but it will be quite firm. Okay. Take it out, chill it down, uh, and then in the recipe there's a little uh, sour cream glaze what you've put on, and you put it in the fridge overnight, and then you've got a banging cheesecake. Nice work. Oh, I can't wait to try it. Of course, hopefully you've prepared one early because I don't think we've got 45 <laughs> minutes left in the show, which will be very disappointing. And if you want, as Mark said, the glazing recipe is on our website as well as the full recipe. Just go there, thecafe.co.nz. How did it turn out? Oh, it's, uh, it turned out absolutely amazing, and I've already tried a oh, little you have. Uh, corner of that. And just to <laughs> test that it's really good, and it's, uh, I think Mel's going to be really, really happy I think Mel's going to be really happy too. <laughs> <laughs> well, enough go, for Mel. And one Helen as Look well when you finish playing Helen. Uh, what are you going to be doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got an Italian sausage and chestnut pasta.